Hey gang, someday it's probably going to be us against the government, so I've got some pretty cool numbers for you. There's 450 million <clears throat> guns registered in this country, and that's not including the ones that aren't on the books. There's 300 million people in the United States. Now, let's say that just 150 million of those own guns. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and 150 million brain-dead lunatics like this jack -aloon? Now, that's a scary thought. But these little tree fort cosplaytriots and overgrown beer-bellied Boy Scouts don't have a whisper of a prayer against the United States military. Now, let's say that the government is able to convince the military to stand against us. That's 1.2 million. There's 700,000 active duty federal and local law enforcement in this country. So that gives them a total of around 2 million law enforcement military to stand against us hillbillies and patriots. First off, if you don't have the brains to understand that patriots don't attack their own country, then your prospects for success are pretty grim. Second, if you are conned into throwing your life in sacrifice upon the altar of fascism to appease the delusional mind of a brain-dead dictator, then you'll be doing everyone a favor, including yourselves, if you just quit right now. Give up in humble submission the same way you fell upon your knees in servitude before Donald Trump. Of 150 million 150 million of us, 2 million of them. I like our odds, so don't sweat it. And finally, contrary to the alternative facts that exist in your corrupted mind, contrary to the imbecile conspiracy theories of your QAnon cult, you're not going to overtake a meeting of the Wednesday Ladies Sewing Circle with your squirrel guns after a drunken binge, let alone the United States government. But Donald Trump and the billionaire elites of the Republican Party, thank you for your litany of mental defects. They couldn't be happier that their moronic fairy tales have you securely in their hip pocket. They thank you for throwing away your life in desperate attempt to save them from ever paying taxes. And on top of all of this, and give you the thrill of your life. Donald Trump gave you a like on TikTok. Oh joy. After all, every great military mind vets their strategy in a TikTok posting. We're impressed by your number crunching. Who knew MAGA morons could conceive of figures so high and your clever wit and personality has your orange crush himself blushing in admiration? You need to share this Tinder. Better yet, you fascists need to make your own anti-American version of Tinder. You'll be swiping right for every dictator that passes by your screen. It's morons like this guy that make me sick. Who knew there were segments of our population that were so easily corruptible and so holistic? Donald Trump built a cult, anointed himself the Lamb of MAGA gods, and his sheep faithfully eat out of his hands. His bidding is their command, and their allegiance is until death takes them or their Lord releases them. Stupid don't get tired. Once again, we are up against stupid, and this is the battle. And this battle ain't easy because it don't get tired. So what war is this guy talking talking about what world war three is he talking about is he saying that if putin's attack of the ukraine extends into europe and or becomes nuclear and then we become involved because of our nato obligations that's the war that biden started is that what he's saying that jump in logic is ridiculous but here's what's even funnier vote blue no matter who Really? You're you're a Trump cult member and you're saying that? You know how deep this guy is in the cult? He's supporting Donald Trump and uh, Donald Trump isn't running for anything. So how are you supporting him? Are you supporting him in overturning a democratic election? Does that make you a patriot supporting overthrowing a democratic election? Yeah, very patriotic. You see, until something starts affecting you personally, nothing will change. And I'll be damned if I put my kids in harm's way or danger because some old ass man don't know what the hell he's doing anymore. He doesn't even know what the hell he's saying. I mean, this guy, this is great. Okay, you want to bring back the draft only for liberals? Sure, but only if liberals can dodge the draft four or five times the way Trump did. Oh, my foot hurts. I don't think I'll be playing part in your war. Remember that? Or maybe the real patriots are the Republican senators who voted against veterans' benefits for veterans who were exposed to toxic chemicals while serving the country overseas during a war. That's right, exposed to toxic chemicals that led to cancer and other sicknesses. And the Republicans said, no, no benefits for you. Those are the patriots. I forgot the patriots are the guys who got mad at a football player for kneeling down during the national anthem. That's right, those would be the real patriots. The guys who are fighting for health care for veterans of foreign wars. Those commie, liberal, no good sons of b 
They're not patriots. The guys who want to fight the guy who knelt down during a song. That's a real American right there. Wait a minute. It would not be Biden getting us into World War III. It would be Putin. Forced military service based on political affiliation is not patriotic. I see you served. That's cool. You've already served presidents who got us into wars. I mean, that's what happens. Presidents and Congress get us into wars. They decide to intervene here and there. People enlist to serve. So even if Joe Biden was going to get us into World War III as you claim, it makes it no different from any war in history. There's always a leader making a decision to enter a war. And there's always a call to enlist. I'm a little confused on this patriot thing because it seems like it's the liberals who are fighting for the rights of all Americans. Now, wouldn't that be the patriotic thing? Fighting for the rights of people you may not even agree with or people who are different than you. Isn't it they, the ones who fight for the rights, oh, I don't know, to rule of law versus biblical law? Wouldn't that be patriotism? Those who fight for a Supreme Court that's based on constitutional law, not based on some personal biblical beliefs. Wouldn't those be the real patriots? I am just so getting confused over who the real patriots are here because I would think the people who fight for the ideals America was built on would be the real patriots. Oh, and by the way, to those who think liberals aren't patriots, who think a guy like me isn't a patriot, you know why I'm a patriot? Because I hold this country to a higher standard. I hold this country to the standard of what we are capable of. I hold this country to the standard that was written into the Constitution, like equal rights for everybody. That includes minorities and women. Hmm, there's another group. You know what? I think patriotism goes beyond wearing an American flag to a NASCAR race. Whether people want to enlist or not is on them. But proposing some sort of draft based on political affiliation is just ridiculous. MAGA is a direct threat to the, wait for it, the American state. You said this quiet part out loud. We are a threat to the American state. It feels like we are not just at the brink of a civil war, but that one has already begun. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And after Trump, I fear for the fate of this country. He did his best to gut our government and its institutions. And his influence remains even now in the Supreme Court and throughout the GOP. It's disturbing, I tell you. The type of rhetoric his faction spouts is beyond undemocratic. They're not trying to just undermine America. They're trying to tear it down. You don't trust the election officials. Nope. 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 You don't trust the FBI. Nope. nope. You don't trust the courts. Nope. Who do you trust? Trump. And his supporters, and anybody that has in that that when I listen to them talk, they don't turn my stomach with the disingenuousness. These people are a real threat to democracy. They may act like the most pathetic babies you've ever seen, but that's exactly the type of people we have to be scared of. After all, no one with any dignity picks up a gun and shoots up a school. It's only crooked, spineless lunatics that do that. We will not let somebody take down our Constitution. I swore an oath back in 1973 to defend this country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And if it comes to domestic, that's what I do. If the UN comes in here, there are foreign invaders in our country, and I will do what I got to do to stand up for them. And you called yourself a militia to stop me with guns? If that's what it takes. The militia is, look at the farmers back in the day. They didn't have guns. They used fish forks and whatever they had available to them. Today, everybody's got guns. What's going to happen is, if the thing starts here and we have a civil war, people are going to have to pick what side they're on. There are people that think they're being attacked simply because they can no longer exploit the American government to do what they want. They think that they're the victims here, just because those folks who are oppressed are finally gaining a voice. These are the sorest losers you've ever met.